Right, raise your hand. Who would have thought that an album called Songs About Fucking would be a dirty, explicit monster of an album? Um, I'm just going to assume you've all got your hands up because <laughs> anyone could probably guess that. Um, but Big Black's final studio album could arguably be their best one. There's just something so volatile about the whole experience that can make it maybe a bit too misanthropic, gritty and jaded to possibly enjoy for some. Um, like a paracetamol tablet has just been fermenting in jalapeno juice for the past decade. But considering it's on this list, you'll know that it's definitely my cup of tea. Um, it's the sheer horribleness of it. I find just strangely appealing, um, especially with Steve Albini's vocals and lyrics being equally as crass and dripping and toxic sludge. Something like Bad Penny is either going to come off as too try-hard for your liking, especially, especially that excerpt um, where Steve's basically like saying how you slept with your girlfriends and you slept with all your friends' girlfriends and um, but just all the heavy distortion and the picking and playing that you expect from a metal album it uh, means that it seems pretty self-aware and how absurd and outrageous it's been and um, Big Black are seen as one of Noise Rock's big players and even if you haven't heard this you'll have heard of one of the bands that have undeniably borrowed a lot of the appeal and sourness that they had um, that being a little band you may have heard of um, called Nirvana um, and it's not really an accusation of theft here um, because as Steve worked with Kurt and Co and In Utero um, which might be the most natural thing to ever occur in these harsher genres at the time um, but what, what I'm trying to say is that um, while it was kind of served for its time it was eventually something that a lot of people warmed up to um, so when folk find this a bit too kind of hard to stomach I, I really don't I really don't judge it but I do think it's sort of um, there's, there's something poetic about how eventually if people did warm up to it and one of the big things that kind of Nirvana did borrow and that Big Black have here in bucket loads is just the kind of performances um, that I've described so far and the lyrical content. They just feel venomous and cynical and extremely downtrodden. Um, the power of independent trucking paints a picture of a guy fueled by lust and sex, a real disgusting character. When and when you check some of the lines here, it, it makes him sound more like a beast than a man. And then there's Tiny King of the Jews, and um, it features a pretty nihilistic character too that seems to lack any free will and just takes that hurt caused by that realization out on everyone, including himself. And El Dopa might just be the most depressing cut on the entire album, as Steve tells the story of a girl called Daisy who has just slept years of her life away due to an illness that causes her to do so. And Daisy just starts losing hold of reality and struggles to comprehend what's going on staying in the drug El Dopa is the very thing making her feel like even more of a horror and um, so the, the, the kind of well it could be taken pretty literally and um, the whole metaphor of something that's meant to help you actually being the cause and um, for it um, is is a very sort of like dark thing that I guess you could kind of apply to a lot of a lot of scenarios and whatnot but it always gives me sort of a an, an eerie feeling um, and it's just it just goes to show just how cynical and dreary this record is but it's one that just drives itself at 100 miles per hour and seems to have an uncomfortable amount of fun doing so which means even after all these years it's easy to see why people would still label Big Black as infamous despite a, a huge cult status and um, you'll have seen their album covers and Steve Albini's probably been at the helm of some of your favourite records I, I really wouldn't doubt it um, but thank you guys for watching um, if you haven't listened to this album as always I'm pleased to give it a go and see what you make of it and if you have listened to it let me know how positive you are on it um, and yeah thank you for watching I'll catch you guys tomorrow for another Christmas cracker as always stay safe and stay hydrated